Hey Leo Collective, what's up y'all? Welcome to the channel, welcome back. Hope you all are doing amazing. We are going to end this week because I think this will be it until next week. Um, with a dedicated love reading, okay? I know most people watch Tarot for Love, so we are going to do a love reading, even though I don't really like to do them. <laughs> Take what resonates, leave what doesn't, flip the rose if you need to. Could be past, present, future energy. Or someone else around you i am picking up on and this reading will be for those of you who are married dating even if you know you're single not dating one particular person or maybe dating one particular person somebody's name could be chanel milan um but this is like not going to be about exes if an ex comes up we will acknowledge and gracefully dismiss them i am intending for this to be a reading on someone that you want to know about okay so not somebody that want to know about you but someone you want to know about so you're empowered here understand the energy still may not be what you want to hear because i can't control that but basically what's going on next for you in love what's coming next okay so this could be someone you're already dealing with or someone you're about to meet and so maybe it's a warning maybe it's confirmation maybe it's encouragement like we just have to see what comes out i'm going to start with one of these three shuffles and i'm going to take whatever's on top no more I'm going to take this one because this one feels right. So let's see. We have a new opportunity. That's why I felt right. See, I'm in tune, y'all. And then we have July. <laughs> I told y'all Leo season. Something big about your, your season, Leo. Some of you could be July Leos. And if not, like I said, by the, um, the Lionsgate portal may be opening up some new opportunities for you. That's a portal where you can manifest a lot. It's a lucky time. Hmm. You could meet somebody on the 4th of July or it could be a Cancer. It could be another Leo. Let's pull one of these and see you have a new opportunity coming in. That's why that card, it felt so right in my hand. So we have confidence. Not all stars shine. Believe in your own strength. For some of you, this could be another Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, a fire sign. Okay, very confident person. And then we have deception. Glory is but a fleet, fleeting glimpse. Deception at the bottom of the deck. Okay, we'll have to see what deception is all about. We're going to have to see. Okay. You know what I feel like? I I don't even want to, I'm not even going to clarify that. I'm going to let God clarify it through me. What I feel, some of you, this could be someone around you who's not expressing how they feel just yet. Somebody could be a dancer. Um, or this is a person who actually has a lot more going for them than they let on. Like, let's say, for instance, you meet a multimillionaire and they don't want to, you know, lead with their money. So maybe they drive a very, um, what is the car called? Like an affordable car, regular everyday car. Like you see them in a Honda, you see them in a Toyota, right? Maybe a nice car, but it's not something you would expect a millionaire to drive, right? I feel like, this person doesn't want to lead. It says glory is but a fleeting glimpse. It's like they are only going to give you a glimpse into their lives. But this person may be worth a lot more than you think, have a lot more than you think, but they're very understated. They have a quiet confidence. Not all stars shine, believe in your own strength. So they're very confident. They don't feel like they have to be like braggadocious. They don't feel like they have to be a show off, cocky, arrogant. I like that. I like that. Okay, so let's see. What's this new opportunity? We have divine feminine, her. So either they're going to treat you like the divine feminine, you are their divine feminine, or you're meeting the divine feminine. Taurus, Libra energy. Beautiful. Somebody who will take care of you. Oh, this looks like it's good. Reconciliation and rebuild. Now, understand this could be a past life soulmate. We're not dealing with exes. So if this is somebody that you were dealing with and maybe y'all just had a little fight, maybe y'all not speaking right now, that's what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about people from the distant past. You were in high school with them or 20 years ago or 10 or 15 or 5. I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about people in your right now energy. Somebody here, I'm seeing some makeup sets. I am. Bottom of the deck, we have hook up one night stand. So y'all might just be like running into each other. Yes, faded meeting. You can't make it up. Important connection, then text message, unsent messages. This is the person who wants to reach out to you. They want to talk to you. I'm seeing a Libra, Aquarius, a Gemini, a Scorpio, um, a, another Leo, a Taurus, a Sagittarius. Because one night stand is the Knight of Wands energy. This is somebody really great in bed, very sexy. Could be an athlete. Could be somebody who has a very nice body. You know, 
and they want to go to pound town with you so you might be bumping into this person new opportunity could be in july i don't know let's get into it but it feels like somebody you already know and somebody you're already connected to and i do feel like this person or if it's somebody new it could be a past life soulmate it feels like this might be a one night stand it turns into something more great sex and a great connection somebody who will take very good care of you listen with your heart you are listening but need to hear with a loving heart number one somebody wants to explain something to you i saw the ace of swords that's somebody wanting to talk to you, express themselves to you. Bottom of the deck, we have another number one, the lady who waits. So you might just be like in receptive mode, but you ain't really going to say anything. And then we have beyond words. Somebody could be 29, born on the first. This feels to me like you're in wait. You're, you're lying in wait. And not that you're waiting around for this person. Either you're just ready and you're receptive to this person coming into your life. Or if it's someone coming back, I'm seeing Sagittarius energy again. It feels like, okay, well, I will listen. I will hear you out, but you also got to go beyond words. You got to prove it to me. I'm telling you now, I feel like they have like a hidden treasure or something. It just feels like there's so much more than meets the eye with this person in a positive way, though. Not negative. Let's get into the tarot. What's divine feminine? What's divine feminine? seven of swords in reverse and the hangman in reverse somebody that can't let you go i'm here before i let you go you make me happy i feel like this could be an aquarius your sister sign or a pisces some of you are born on the seventh seventh or the twelfth or your person might be but listen this is somebody wanting to come clean and turn over a new leaf if they have been unfaithful in the past if they have had a one night stand with someone if they've done something deceptive to you this person is your soulmate. You two were meant to be together. This is a faded connection. And it feels like no matter what you do, you can't leave each other alone. So it could be like a love-hate relationship. <laughs> okay. Somebody could be on Aquarius Pisces Cusp, if I didn't say that. Aquarius Pisces Cusp. Let me get one more. No, no, no. Let's move on to reconciliation. I'm going to use another deck to clarify. Somebody's birthday could be July 23rd or 24th. What's the reconciliation rebuild? just heard, saw the 22nd in my head as well so it could be the 22nd of july the empress you got the empress right here okay so look what's gonna happen if you two hook up y'all reconcile that night of passion turned into a baby okay <laughs> this is also someone who wants to marry you the queen i mean the um the empress is a wife she represents marriage somebody here wants to take very good care of you they could be like spending a lot of money on you. I'm seeing somebody like just do whatever it is that makes you smile. If you like to like pamper yourself, sending you for massages, get your nails done, your toes done, send you on a trip maybe with your girlfriends if they can't go, um, take you shopping, give you money to pay your bills, whatever. Let's listen with your heart. We have the nine of wands. So this person is a stand up guy. Y'all have definitely been through y'all bumps and bruises. Sagittarius energy. Some of you, they could be reaching out to you over the next nine days or maybe the previous nine days you heard from this person. What's the lady who waits? The seven of wands. Leo energy. Mm-hmm. Being a bit defensive here. Being stubborn. King of wands. Leo energy. But it's like y'all two are a match made in heaven. This is your person. Could be a cancer or another Leo. This person is like, I'm going to break through your walls because you're mine. You're mine. Let's pick up where we left off. We ain't talked in three days. We haven't spoken in however many days, nine days, seven days, whatever it's been. I got to break the ice with my baby. I want my baby back, okay? <laughs> if this hasn't happened yet, this is the kind of person you are attracting. So please understand what I'm saying. If you're not in a relationship, this is a new opportunity. What's going on with Divine Feminine? The Seven of Cups. Okay, yeah, this person could have kept their options open, y'all. Maybe they weren't ready to settle down. Scorpio Energy. They could be fantasizing about you, especially being intimate with you. They're hoping and wishing and praying that you two can be together. Nine of Pentacles. You could be on the Leo Virgo cusp. It feels like this person is seeing you as someone who's doing well for yourself. And remember, I said they could be very financially stable. This is somebody living in a lap of luxury. This is a lifestyle upgrade for you as well. If you are, I mean, maybe you just live a, you know, a regular, normal, everyday, day-to-day -day life. But this person is financially stable. 
And I feel like they may even be looking at you as being the kind of person that could have whatever you want, whoever you want, but they want to spoil you. The Nine of Pentacles is literally like a lavish lifestyle. I'm talking the best hotels, trips, cars, clothing, houses. Like this is the kind of person that's showing up here. You also could be coming into some money as a sidebar because this could be an inheritance here. I just heard you, you can have your pick. Like this person feels like you can have your pick. Maybe they have seen you start to date other people and they want to come back, you know, together with you. Again, don't take it like I'm talking about a past person that you don't want to hear from. No, this is somebody that maybe you're just angry at. So you're like, I'm going to see other people until you get it together like that. Show me reconciliation and this baby that's going to be born. So we got the tower. I'm seeing an explosive sexual encounter. I'm seeing a lot. I'm sorry to be graphic, y'all, and hopefully nobody gets offended because I know I have some older people here as well as, you know, people who are younger than me, people my age. Like, I got all different ages, but I just have to read the card, so hopefully you don't get offended by this. I'm seeing a very explosive, explosive, explosive sexual encounter, and I'm seeing, I don't even know if I can say this on the channel, um, the fluid that makes babies. I'm just leave it at that. I'm seeing a lot of it. Okay, so you can have like a marathon sexual encounter with this person and the hermit. Like y'all might be like going on a trip together, staying to yourself, shutting the world out. Mm -hmm. Could be a Virgo, a Scorpio and Aries. It just feels like also somebody is ready to break the silence here. This is somebody that um, I'm hearing. I, I couldn't pull out. I don't know. I just... <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. They may not even tell you. Wow. Hmm. Let me get one more for that. The seven of wands. So spirit saying use protection if you don't want to get pregnant. Because I'm seeing somebody get pregnant for sure. And I'm seeing a masculine here that's like, you ain't leaving me. I'm not losing you. Somebody's name could be Kim, Kimberly. What's going on with listen with your heart? The six of wands. Don't be too proud. And I'm also hearing ain't too proud to beg by uh, TLC in my head. Somebody still has you on a pedestal. Yeah, the sun. Leo, you come out as the king of wands and the sun every time with the page of cups. I'm seeing an apology if need be. You know, I don't know if someone owes you an apology. You might be a bit defensive to this person and you are waiting. You're like, you got to make the first move. Or this is just a new relationship coming in for some of you. This could be somebody admiring you on social media. Somebody with a very strong attraction to you. They love the way you carry yourself. And they're about to make a move towards you. You got somebody's head in the clouds. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or another Leo. They think you're extremely attractive. That's for sure. And then we have the Knight of Swords. So you're waiting for this person to make their move or they're going to be the one to make a move. This person is very honest. They're blunt. Then the King of Wands comes out again. You could be um, two masculines dealing with each other because I'm seeing a lot of masculine energy here. You got the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords. Somebody is going to be very intelligent but still very passionate about you. They got long-term intentions. This person is going to spoil you rotten. <laughs> and they're brutally honest. They are. You got the king, the knight, and the um, queen of swords. They like to have fun, though. So this is not like a boring person. It's almost like they feel like the total package. Let's get into it. They're definitely very confident, just like that card says right there. They are, but they're also very logical. And they can have a quiet side, too, even though they are confident. I say quiet confidence. That's what I feel like it is. They don't mince their words, but they are not the kind of person that walks in the room and has to have all eyes on them. I don't think so. They're content, oh, they're content with you having all eyes on you. I feel like this is something that they kind of admire about you. Remember, I've been telling y'all, somebody, somebody that's coming into your life or somebody you're dealing with right now, you two may be polar opposites, but they still have either fire in their chart or they have a fiery side to them. But it's like they don't mind you being a star to show. This person's not insecure at all. It's like, okay, that's fine. Like you get a lot of attention. I'm okay with it. Maybe you model, maybe you're a social media influencer, maybe you're a public figure, somebody that's famous, or just a person that gets a lot of attention. They, they like, they're proud of that when they're with you. 
they feel very proud of that. I feel like you also have breathed new life into this person with this red flag here. And the sun card, the red flag does talk about new blood. And this is also a pregnancy card. So I will tell you, watch out for pregnancy. This is a baby as well. So let's get some cards here. Understand past energy can come out from an ex or something. I can't control that. Again, we're going to gracefully dismiss them if they come up. Okay. So we have external forces coming between you two, the wheel of fortune and reverse. Well, we do have the tower here in reverse. So there could be like a bit of a push and pull between you two. For some of you, it could be this person's work. It could be, um, what else am I seeing? Because they definitely seem like they could be financially stable. I mean, they are financially stable and they may if, you know, they may have this attitude like I have spent so much time building this fortune, building this wealth that I have to protect it. And so maybe love is on the back burner and it's a lot of fantasizing. I'm seeing somebody masturbate. I'm sorry, y'all, for how graphic this might be, but I'm, I'm just reading energy and I'm seeing somebody here who does fantasize about you a lot. And I'm seeing them pleasure themselves to pictures of you or thoughts of you or memories of you sexually. But the thing is, they may be a bit standoffish sometimes because I do feel like they have a lot going on and they may be a bit stubborn, you know. So we have I can be a menace when I don't get my way. OK, wait a minute now. So we have somebody here who could be an Aquarius. That is your sister sign. Oh, this person has a, a, a killer instinct, okay? They're a very resourceful person. And I do feel like when it comes to their business, they are like a shark, okay? They seem very strategic. Some of you may even feel like they play mind games or you will feel this way. Maybe you're going to just like hook up with them one night and then it's going to be like, well, what happened to them? But it's because this person is, I do see them apologizing for it with the seven of swords in reverse and changing for you. Because that talks about turning over a new leaf, having a new lease on life because they're going to realize I can't live without Leo. I want to be with Leo. So I know I got to get this together. As much as I got to protect my assets and my, my business or whatever, I also got to protect my connection to Leo. Ignoring consequences, going for it aggressively, and heated arguments and spats with a knight of swords. We did pull the knight of swords right there. You're time enough for this person, though. You're time enough for them. It's like they are always going to be the one coming back to you. And you see how your head is turned. And you're like, because this is a Leo card. For some of you, this is a Gemini. It could also be a Libra or an Aquarius, but strong Gemini. It just feels like you two have a very passionate kind of... I don't want to say it's as strong as a love-hate relationship, but it just feels like y'all kind of kiss and make up. Y'all go through a lot of breakup and makeup kind of energy. And not truly breaking up, but more like I'm mad at you. I'm ignoring you. I'm not going to answer the phone. Like that kind of energy. <laughs> But um, this is a very brave, bold in your face kind of person. If y'all like like aggressive men, if it's a man or women, this is the kind of person that's going to go for what they want. Like they'll walk in a room and be like, come over here. I want to talk to you. Like that kind of person. Not abusive. Don't take me the wrong way. Then we got splash waterfalls. This just came out for Taurus. Okay, so they feel like you got that juicy, juicy. You got that good, good. Okay, I'm going to mind my business, but I already told y'all that. I told y'all I'm seeing a lot of moisture and, and stuff over here and um, masturbation and stuff. I'm sorry. The heart wants what the heart wants. Nothing can stop this union or your desire for them and their desire for you. I told you, it defies logic and reason. Your love has become a force of nature that is unstoppable and undeniable. And this is somebody who is convinced you're the one. And they ain't going to stop pursuing you because they like, I get what I want. Let's get some um, advice and close this out. So listen, y'all gonna get on each other's nerves sometimes. I mean, it's life. It's life. It's just the way that it goes. Bottom of the deck, we have give up control. Release your grip on outcomes. Embrace the present moment's wisdom. <laughs> you had to go with the flow with this person. So we have here vortex of creativity. Spiral into your creative vortex. Unleashing imaginative power to manifest your dreams into reality. Yeah, this, I feel like the best thing you can do to get what you want from this person is to create an environment where they will rise to the occasion. You can't make anybody do anything. You have to be the lady who waits. And for some of you, this might mean that you're going to have to be patient with this person. You know what I mean? That's the um the magician. And this is talking about manifesting your dreams into reality. You two have a workable plan. It can definitely work, but I don't feel like you're going to be as in control as you want to be and i'm going to tell you your true power is and you resting in your divine feminine energy she's here three times you just have to be in receptive mode that's all that's all 
expect the best, demand the best, just by the way you treat yourself, the way you show up. And that's what you're going to get. Make them prove it. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you all next time. Peace.